Today we're gonna take that ballerina and go to the moon. Hey there, my name is Ali, you can find me on Instagram at the screen in front of you and today the tutorial is gonna be amazing. Let's start by our first photo. Okay, I'm gonna press Ctrl and T, unlock it first, press Ctrl and T and I'll just resize it down like that. Then I'm gonna use my rectangle marquee and get rid of the sky like that. Okay, Ctrl D, now I'm gonna press Ctrl and T, then right click, then I'll go to the warp tool. Now I'm gonna just stretch it down a little bit. I wanna make it some sort of like a curve. Because that's gonna be like a planet or something like that. Okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna again go to the crop tool. This time I'm gonna remove the delete cropped pixels. Then I'm just gonna adjust my size. I guess something like that is good. Okay, now I'm gonna press Ctrl T and I'll just move it a little bit like that. I want it to be going right from that, from top to below. Okay, now I'm, I'm gonna put a layer below of it and color it with black. I color by using Alt Backspace, by the way. Okay, now I'm gonna grab the moon. Okay, I'm gonna increase the size a lot, something like that, maybe even bigger, I'll flip it. Uh, I guess something like that is good. Okay, now on that layer, the layer of the floor, I'm gonna add a curves adjustment layer. And just make it a lot darker. Yeah, something like that. Then I don't want the blue actually in it. So I'm gonna go to color balance or just make it curves, it doesn't matter. I'll first lock it, then in the red channel, I'm gonna add some red. And in the blue channel, I'm gonna add some yellow. Now we have some sort of orange color. And then at the layer itself, I'm gonna add hue and saturation and make it zero. So now we got rid of like all the color except the color we added, which was the, the red and... Here the red and the orange. I'm just gonna reduce the opacity a little bit. Okay, something like that. Okay, now what I wanna do, I still, I guess I need to darken it more. So I'm gonna go to brightness and contrast, just lock it to it and just reduce the brightness. Yeah, something like that is good. And I'm gonna use my brush. I'll just take a normal brush. And I'm just gonna remove some of the bright, the like the darkness I made here. Because here the moon is gonna be emitting light. At that area. I can do that also to my curves adjustment, which I, well, I made to darken. Yeah, very like settled from far away, something like that. It's good. Okay. Then I'm gonna stand on the moon layer. Then I'm gonna go for a hue and saturation layer. I'm gonna lock it to it. Then I'm gonna press colorize. This will add color to the moon. I'm gonna use the color which I want, something like that maybe, and increase the saturation. Now we have the color of the moon. Maybe I'll darken it a little bit, something like that. Okay, now I wanna like darken the moon a little bit and brighten it. Like I need to increase the contrast actually of the moon. So I'm gonna add a like uh, brightness and contrast, and I'm just gonna increase the contrast and maybe reduce the brightness a little bit. Yeah, something like that is good. Okay, then I'm gonna use my brush and I'll just color here a little bit to bring back the darkness we made. Then I'm gonna add a new layer on top of everything. Hold Alt and press click, I will link it. Then I'm gonna take an orange color, something like that. Then take something brighter than it. Then I'm just gonna, at like the very bottom part of the moon, I'm just gonna color a little bit with it. Then I'm gonna change the blending mode to screen. 
You see what that did? It did like something. It's like somehow it's glowing here. And I'll reduce the opacity a little bit. I'll do actually the same exact layer, but on the floor. In this area, something like that. Let's go first one with overlay. Reduce to give like some sort of color, reduce the opacity, then another one, link it, but this one is in screen mode and just color. Screen mode is much brighter, overlay, like it will add some sort of white, but overlay will add more color. Okay, now we will bring our ballerina and I'm gonna place her here. I'm gonna increase her size a little bit, something like that. I want her to be here. I want to darken her a little bit because like behind her there is a source of light so she should be like something darker I'm gonna add a curves adjustment link it below and just bring the highlights down okay then I'm gonna stand on the ballerina layer actually hold alt and drag another one now I have two copies on the one below I'm gonna press a click rasterize then I'm gonna press ctrl T and then I'm gonna hold ctrl until the arrow, arrow is white like you can see and then I'm gonna hold click and just drag it like that. Now I want to make this black. I'm gonna hold control, press click. So now I make selection of it. I'm gonna press that to make black. And I'm gonna hold alt and press backspace just to make the ballerina black. Then I'm gonna go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And I'm just gonna give it a little bit of blur to get rid of the sharp edges. And I'm gonna take my eraser now. And just with a very soft eraser, I'll just erase some of the edges. Something like that. So it looks like the shadow is like fading away. And maybe reduce the opacity a little bit. Okay, now we're done with the ballerina, with everything. I guess the floor needs a little bit of darkening. So I'm gonna stand on the floor layer. Add another brightness and contrast layer. Increase maybe the contrast and reduce the brightness. Yeah, something like that is good. Finally, I'm gonna add a star. I got some star texture. But before I add it, you see, I wanna make sure I'm standing on the layer below. Then I'll pull it to Photoshop. So it like it's in the right place, not somewhere in between the layers I linked together. Now I'm gonna rotate it, move it here, make it bigger. Okay, and now we have our stars, we have our ballerina. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stand on the top layer, hold Control, Shift, Alt, then press E. What this does is merges every layer on a new separate layer, so I can go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter, and edit everything now together in one shot. So I'm gonna add some contrast to the photo, add some clarity, so everything is like more clear. And I try always like to play around with the colors. You can see it like in blue, green, magenta. Some magenta would be nice actually. Yeah, something like that. The highlights, I in I'll increase the highlights, make it like glowing more. And maybe I'll reduce the shadows a little bit, but not so far because I don't want it to be like so black. I'll just reduce the shadows a little bit. Then I'm gonna go to my FX effects module and I'm gonna just pull a little bit of vignette so it draws like more attention to the center of the photo okay now you see this i'll press ctrl z that's the before ctrl z after okay i hope you liked the tutorial guys make sure you subscribe and press that thumbs up button to support me thank you